Hi there guys, this is Tracy here and welcome back to the MG Tracy Club. And today what I wanted to share with you is a Fireman Sam 4-pack Dicky Toys Special. And these are all die-cast metal toys. So first up we have the Fireman Sam helicopter. So it has rotor blades that turn, it has the skids that it lands on here, and also it has a really large window in the front so that the pilots can see where they're going. This is super cool. And next up is Hydrus. Now Hydrus is an amphibious vehicle, it means it can go on land and in water. It's got the space for four passengers, some space at the back for luggage, it's got lights on the top, and of course it's an open top vehicle. That's great. And next we have Jupiter, the water carrier. And next we have Venus. Venus is the Primer Sand water carrier and this is normally driven by firefighter Penny Morris. It has a water cannon on the top, it has the air horns and also it has the flashing blue lights. And I particularly like the wheels. This is awesome! And lastly I have Jupiter and this is Fireman Sam's favourite emergency vehicle. It has a ladder and a hose at the back and it also has the horns and the lights at the front. Let's give these vehicles a try out at the Ponty Pandy fire station.
there guys this is Tracy here and welcome to my channel MG Tracy and today what I wanted to share with you is Feynman Sam Friction Action Powered Jupiter and it's got um, an articulated Feynman Sam and it comes complete with extendable ladder and also a ladder on the side so uh, let's take it out of the box and uh, check it out for real shall we have a look on the back of the box to see what it looks like so uh, here's the extendable articulated crane arm uh, the opening doors uh, the stabilizers the ladder and also it's friction power so uh, let's have a go so here's Simon Sam inside I think he's strapped in so I'll have to take him out in a moment. So here we are, let's check it out and we've got uh, Fireman Sam in the cab there and um, the door opens there to the side. We've got a, uh, a mirror there so that um, the driver can use it for reversing and here's Fireman Sam. He's going to come out through the window because that's a little bit easier. And here he is, very smart in his fireman's uniform, complete with fireman helmet, and also axe on the side. His arms move, so that's brilliant. So we'll just put him down there, and here are the stabilizers. There's one on each side, I believe. Yeah, there's another one on the other side. And uh, we have the uh, articulated crane as well. Fireman can, Sam can uh, stand in there and operate the hose. And let's just move the camera up a bit so you can see. Here we go. He'll be able to move up and down on his crane and also there's a little ladder hidden away in a secret cubby hole in the side of Jupiter and there we have Feynman Sam can uh, use the ladder whenever he needs to rescue anybody just pop that back these particular shutters don't move, they're just there for show. And lots of colours and pretend switches and lights on the back of the vehicle. And again, more pretend shutters. Ah, this door opens as well. There's some just some sellotape on, and there's a another strut there that we can use. Take this cellar tape off and that door will come open so you can see right into the cab there and also it's friction power so uh, let's check that out shall we let's put Simon Sam back in the cab put the strut back up let's move the camera down a bit so you can see Here we go. Right, so Fireman Sam's ready for action now. then guys that's um, friction powered action fireman Sam Jupiter uh, so take care don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends and I shall see you very soon bye for now
Stacey Club. So we're taking a look at uh, City Kit playset. There are three in this particular range. So there's the fire department, there's the auto shop, and also there's the police station. But uh, we have the fire department here today. And so there's a, a helicopter, fire engine, another type of uh, fire engine, and that's the explosive unit and also we have the emergency ambulance so I'm going to open up and uh, let's check out what's inside shall we So there we go then guys, I put it all together with the, complete with the uh, stickers all around and uh, this particular fire department has a, a helipad and a control tower. So it has a ramp uh, for the fire engines there and also uh, a sort of a, a garage there for the fire engines to be stored in. Uh, also there's the flag at the top. And there's also lots of different stickers about. We've got the stop sign, we've got the fire department entry, we've got the fire department at the top here. So uh, let's take a look at the, the vehicle, shall we? So here we have the fire department 
helicopter complete with uh, blades at the top so we'll just check that one out that works really well so these toys are die cast toys that are made out of metal and also plastic they look quite uh, sturdy so that's really good so we can put that one on our helipad there and uh, next up we have the fire department fire engine number 33 uh, complete with hose on the front and movable ladder so that's rather cool and uh, what you need to do on if you need an emergency fire engine is 911 and that would of course be in the states and uh, let's see if it will fit into the, the garage there yep seems to fit and then we can safely put it inside overnight or when it's not in use and our next one is our fire department and uh, this says it's a Vancouver City Fire Service and this is the explosive unit number 20, 26 there it's a rather cool toy and let's see if we can put that up there and last but not least is the ambulance so that's and again you call 911 in an emergency so we'll put that on the outside so let's see if this ramp works shall we so here we go here's here comes the explosive unit whoa yeah that's cool it does work let's try the other vehicle shall we That's gone on the floor. So uh, let's lift up the ramp. Give it a little push on its way. Wow, that is cool. And I'm so pleased it works quite easily. And uh, this is not so easy. We can get our other fire engine out. And let's have another go. Wow, oh, I'm loving this. This is fantastic fun. Let's see if we can put, um, send down the helicopter as well. No, maybe not. It's going to get caught. We might have to do that by hand. No, that's not such a good idea. That one can stay on the helicopter. So uh, let's have one more go with our vehicles. So here's our fire engine. And here's our explosive unit. Whoa, smashing into the uh, fire engine there. And last but not least, let's give the ambulance a go. Whoa! So we just need to turn this unit round. So I've just turned the fire station round and at the back there are different gates that we can store all of our emergency vehicles. So uh, here we can have gate 1 for the ambulance. We can have gate 2 for the explosive unit. Gate 3 for the fire engine and gate 4 for the helicopter. So there you go then guys, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and come back for a whole lot more here on the MG Tracy Club. Don't forget that in this set there are other play sets, there's a, a police station and there's also an auto shop so I'm going to try and get hold of those. So watch out for those videos that are going to be up and coming. Take care and bye for now. Hi 
Hey there boys and girls, this is Tracy here and welcome back to the MG Tracy Club. And today I've got a fantastic toy to share with you. We've got an arcade game. Well it's no ordinary arcade game, it's full of things that can help Fireman Sam. So let's start playing. Okay, let's get started. What have we got? It's an oxygen mask and it's also an oxygen cylinder for Fireman Sam. That's very cool. Okay, let's use our next coin. Who can this be? It's Radar, Fireman Sam's trusty dog. What do we have now? It's a fire bucket for Fireman Sam. So let's try another coin. <gasps> what have we got now? Oh wow, it's Fireman Sam's helmet. And also his loud hailer. So there's something missing from Fireman Sam. What do you think it can be boys and girls? We have one more toy left so let's take a look. Here it is. It's a fire extinguisher. So Fireman Sam has all of his equipment that he needs to be a good firefighter. Be sure to like this video and be sure to ask your favourite adult to subscribe to the MG Tracy channel. Also four boxes will appear. Tap on one of those boxes to continue the toy fun. It's a beautifully hot sunny Sunday afternoon in Ponty Pandy and the folk of Ponty Pandy are waiting at the tram stop. They're waiting for Trevor Evans. They plan to have a trip around the village and to end up at the beach. They are all prepared for their trip. They've bought their swimming costumes. Delis Price has packed some sandwiches. Helen Flood has got some sausage rolls and Radar is so excited to be going into the sea and he might catch a stick or two. They had only been waiting a few minutes and naughty Norman Price was already bored. Oh ma'am, where's the tram? Where's Trevor Evans? Norman, behave yourself. He won't be long, said Dillis Price. But Norman wanted to have a run around. So he started to chase the Pavilion. But luckily Trevor Evans turned up in the tram in the nick of time before Naughty Norman and the Purple Minion could get into too much trouble. It's a beautiful city liner tram and Trevor Evans is very proud of it and spent all day long yesterday cleaning and polishing it. How do folks, says Trevor Evans. Right, all aboard my lovely tram and off we go. 
So first on board were the Flood family. That's Mike Flood, Helen Flood and their little girl Mandy. They couldn't wait to spend a lovely day together in the sunshine. And next it's Dillis Price's turn to get onto the tram. She's bought a long radar. She can't wait to spend the time by the sea and also with Trevor Evans. She's a little bit sweet on Trevor Evans, so she's going to have a lovely day. And lastly, Naughty Norman Price and the Purple Minion need to get on. But where are they? They've opened the doors behind Trevor Evans and are going to sneak in there. Oh, they are being mischievous. Well, everybody's on board, so it's time to head off. Trevor Evans was just making sure that his passengers were comfortable. Ah, oh, righty ho, let's be on our way. Trevor shut the tram door and off he went. But here comes the Road Ripper's dumper truck. It was swerving all over the place. The truck was full of M&Ms. Oh no! The tipper truck has lost its load of M&Ms and they're all over the tram track and the road. But goodness me, the front of the vehicle is smoking. And the flames spread to the tram. Trevor Evans leapt out of the tram and made sure all of his passengers were standing at a safe distance away. The purple minion was feeling a little scared, but Nurse Blood comforted him and made sure that he was all okay. Goodness me, said Trevor Evans. The flames are spreading. I need to get help quick. I need to ring Fireman Sam. Sam now in Jupiter and his bought Elvis Cridlington and Penny Morris to help with the emergency. Elvis Cridlington's in charge of crowd control. He's making sure that everybody keeps well back and at a safe distance, especially that naughty Norman Price. Great fires of London, says Fireman Sam. This fire is beginning to take hold. We need to act quickly, Penny. You go on the super soaker and I'll get the super soaking hose. Penny stayed cool and calm and she was soon able to put out the flames on the tram. Well done, Penny. And working together, Penny Morris and Fireman Sam soon put out the flames on the truck. Last surge of water then, Penny, and it'll soon be out. I'm on it, says Penny Morris. And with that, the flames were out. And with that, the crowd let out a huge roar. And Trevor Evans couldn't thank the firefighters at Ponty Pandy enough. It's all in old day's work, says Fireman Sam. I know, says Trevor Evans, but you were just amazing. Oh, thank you so much. So then, guys, if you like toys and if you like Fine and Sam, be sure to touch on one of the boxes that will appear shortly to continue the toy fun. This 
is Tracy here and welcome back to the MG Tracy Club. So today we're going to take a look at Fireman Sam Ocean Rescue Vehicles and here are five of my favourites. Firstly we have Titan. Titan is a ship on wheels and it has two super soaking hoses, one at either end. Fireman Sam is already in his emergency service wear uh, with a life jacket on and we have radar on the back there. Titan can be used either in a harbour or out at deep sea to rescue people or to attend any emergency. Next we have Fireman Sam steering Neptune. Neptune attends many emergencies on rivers, in harbours and out at sea. Elvis Cridlington wants to come along for a ride, so he has his life jacket on, so that will be okay. We'll put the safety harness around Elvis because Neptune can go very fast. And next is the mini Neptune. This is a great toy because it can be winched up and down, in and out of the new Ocean Rescue playset. Very cool. And here is Fireman Sam on Juno the jet ski. The jet ski is used when Fireman Sam needs to get to an emergency very quickly. Also, Juno can be winched in and out of the Ocean Rescue Center. And lastly, we have Tom Thomas in Wallaby One. And here he comes now a nice smooth landing. Wallaby One is used in all sorts of emergency rescues including looking for people, putting out fires and also winching people to safety. So if you like Fireman Sam don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and come back for a whole lot more here on the MG Tracy Club. Take care and bye for now. Station Officer Steele and Elvis Gridlington were outside the Ponty Pandy Fire Station. They were having a nice chat in the sunshine. And then Station Officer Steele said, Where's Fireman Sam? Well, said Elvis, Fireman Sam said that he had a bit of a surprise and that he would be back shortly. Ooh, that sounds mysterious, says Station Officer Steele. I know, says Elvis Cridlington. Meanwhile, the folk of Ponty Pandy were going about their daily business. Mike Flood had some trouble with his van and he was tinkering around. And Nurse Flood was out and about in her beautiful ambulance. Thank you, have a nice day. She had decided to stop off and say hello to Elvis and Station Officer Steele. Good afternoon, says Helen. Where's Fireman Sam? Well, Nurse Flood, says Station Officer Steele, he should be here shortly. He's got a bit of a surprise for us. Ooh, that sounds exciting. Here he comes now, says Elvis. And he's on a quad bike. He's riding it like a cowboy. Ride him, cowboy. Howdy, ma'am. Oh, wow, says everybody. This is amazing. Howdy, it's a partner. It's a 4x4 four four all-terrain vehicle, says Fireman Sam. And it's so much fun. It even has a storage box in the back. We can keep all sorts in here, a mobile phone, extra petrol, a first aid box and even a fire extinguisher. That's amazing Fireman Sam. And Elvis got in the box on the back. Let's mount up. They were having so much fun on Mercury. It's such a cool vehicle. Let me know 
know guys in the comments below if you like Mercury and if you'd like to go for a ride on the back with Fireman Sam. Please subscribe. Hey guys, this is Tracy here and welcome back to the MG Tracy Club and today we're going to be looking at my top three favourite Ocean Rescue play sets. Number one. Number two. And number three. So let's join Fireman Sam and take a good look around shall we? Firstly is our mini Ocean Rescue playset and we have Fireman Sam racing around on Juno. Starting with the base it has water effect with ripples and, and I'm using Hydrus and Neptune here and it has a ramp that we can wind up and down and we can wind up and down Neptune to launch her into the sea. And a platform either side for mini die-cast vehicles so I've got Jupiter and Venus just here and I love the realistic window stickers they're very cool and also there's a helipad for the emergency helicopter and inside Elvis Cridlington can launch Neptune and station officers still can check the equipment. And next we have our medium size Ocean Rescue playset. It's a hive of activity. Let's take a close look. We have the helipad for the emergency helicopter to land onto. And if we turn it on, the lights flash. Also, it can move from side to side. And here we have Elvis Cridlington trying out the fireman's pole. Cool. Super cool. Naughty Norman and the Purple Minion are trying out the station lead. Ouch! Here they come now. Oh dear, and they're falling all over the place. And Station Officer Still is manning the emergency jet ski controls. And the emergency lock the emergency alarm is sounding. The station officer still says to Fireman Sam, Charlie is in his boat at sea. He needs your help. This is an emergency situation. Sure thing, station officer still says Fireman Sam. I'm on it. And with that, station officer still launched Juno into the sea. And lastly, we have the fantastic largest ocean rescue playset. It has a helipad for Tom Thomas to land Wallaby One. It has an emergency flashing light on top of the centre. A balcony with a rail so that you can hold on on a windy day and a lift that Elvis Gridlington is going to demonstrate for us. So this is the top floor leading to the helipad. Penny Morris is showing us where the firefighters safety equipment, helmets and uniforms are kept and Station Officer Steele is going to demonstrate the control centre. <laughs> Here's an emergency walkie talkie. What is your emergency? And a special spot for Fireman Sam to be launched on Juno. Yippee! So, a big thank you then, guys, for stopping by and watching our special 
on Ocean Rescue play sets. Be sure to comment below and let me know which is your favourite. Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the MG Tracy channel. Shortly, four boxes will appear. Touch on one of those boxes to continue the Fireman Sam fun. Tracy Club. So Fireman Sam is here with Tom Thomas and also Naughty Norman seems to be hanging around as well and Fireman Sam is here to do his daily check on the 4x4 with Tom Thomas but unfortunately it snowed so they're not too sure if they can carry out their checks fully but Let's help them clear up the snow and see what can be done, shall we? We have our trusty large shovel just right for the job of clearing snow. That's right, we'll get it all moving. And naughty Norman can't resist having a play around in the snow. And he falls head first. Oh, Fireman Sam thinks he is a silly boy. Come on, Naughty Norman, up you get. Well, Norman, you need to go inside and clean yourself up. Okay, Fireman Sam. And we can carry on with the big clean up. We're getting there and Tom Thomas and Fireman Sam are helping as well. Nearly there then guys, it's just the front of the 4x4 to clean now. So the 4x4 is free of snow and Fireman Sam is going to carry out his checks. So, sirens and lights are okay, tyres and cab all okay, spare wheel seems to be fine. And Tom Thomas is showing Fireman Sam the equipment on top of the mountain rescue vehicle. Climbing koalas! So then guys, thanks for dropping in and be sure to subscribe to our channel before you leave. And give us a thumbs up if you liked our video and we really would appreciate it if you would share with your Facebook friends and your Twitter friends and there's a link below for you to do that and it's really easy. We really would appreciate that so take care and bye for now. Hi guys this is Tracy here and welcome back to the MG Tracy Club. Well you've joined me today and I'm here with Fireman Sam and we're at the Vancouver Fire Station. Fireman Sam is looking rather glum today. There's been so much snow and especially overnight there's been a huge snowfall. So he needs big help big time. What's that I hear? Is that Minnie and Eric playing the guitar? Yes it is and he wants to give him a tune to cheer him up. Well, Fireman Sam, thanks Eric, but he needs help of a different kind. What's that Fireman Sam can hear? He can hear the sound of heavy machinery in the distance. He knows what that means. 
it means the construction of vehicles from Caterpillar. And they will have all of this snow moved in no time. There is a bulldozer, a wheel loader, And we have a dump truck reversing. Good stuff, says Fireman Sam. This is going to be gone in no time. And Sam is much happier now that all the snow has been cleared. It was cleared away in super quick time. So, Fireman Sam decides to offer the very cold guys now a cup of steaming hot hot chocolate. Well done, Fireman Sam, and well done to the construction team. Take care then guys and thanks for dropping in, be sure to subscribe to our channel and if you like my video please give me the thumbs up and if you'd like to share with your friends on Google+, Facebook or Twitter I'd really appreciate that so take care and bye for now. Peppa Pig and her little brother George have become good friends with Naughty Norman. I know, says Norman, let's take a bath out to sea. OK, said Peppa. She thought it was a good idea at the time because it was such a beautiful, calm day. But things changed. My flood was at the top of the Ponty Pandy lighthouse. My Flood could see the friends Peppa Pig, Little George and Naughty Norman in a bath at sea. That doesn't look right to me, thought My Flood. And then he could see that the weather was turning. There's going to be a storm. <gasps> I'd better call for Fireman Sam. Ponty Pandy now has two ocean rescues and two command centres. We're on our way, Station Officer Steele. We'll take it from here. This is an emergency situation. Stay calm, stay calm, says Station Officer Steele. We need to organise a search party. So, off went Tom Thomas in Wallaby 1 and off went Ben Hopper in Wallaby 2. We also need Juno the jet ski. And Neptune. So Titan. But not to worry, soon the friends were found. Peppa Pig and George were scared and they huddled together. But Naughty Norman had more mischief on his mind. 
Don't worry, says Fireman Sam. We'll soon have you back on dry land. Let's get you onto Titan and let's get you to safety. Well done, Peppa Pig. Well done, George. All nice and safely on Titan. But what about Naughty Norman? Naughty Norman was hanging over the bath and the waves were so strong and before you knew it, he was in the water. This is a disaster. Norman was flapping around because Norman can't swim. But Fireman Sam threw Norman a floating raft and he was soon able to rescue him. OK then, Norman Price says, Fine and Sam, let's get you back to Ocean Rescue. We need to have a talk. We need to have a talk about safety at sea. Please subscribe. This is Tracy here and welcome back to the MG Tracy Club. So I've got a grabbing machine and I'm going to see what I can grab with the claw. And today we've got Fireman Sam figures and different things from the Ponty Pandy fire station. Taking a bow. again. in his ocean rescue uniform. Yay! Take a bow, Fireman Sam.
Fireman Sam. Well done, Fireman Sam. Take a bow. There you go then guys, I'm really happy with my crane haul. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and come back for a whole lot more. And next, it will be the Hello Kitty crane special. Take care and bye for now. Hi there guys, this is Tracy here and welcome back to the MG Tracy Club. So we have Fireman Sam here and uh, Wendy's joined him at the Ponty Pandy Fire Station. She's brought along Venus because it is time for the daily checkup. Well, Fireman Sam was getting a little bit anxious because time is getting on and Wendy was a little delayed. She explained to Fireman Sam that uh, there was a spot of bother with the engine. So Fireman Sam's going to be sure to take a special look at the engine just to make sure that the vehicle is roadworthy and ready to carry out any emergencies. So uh, let's take a look with Fireman Sam and Wendy and uh, let's listen to all the sounds of Venus. So it seems to be working fine there and uh, we'll just undo the doors and they're all a-okay and let's have another blast of what it has to say. Well, everything seems to be a-okay from the outside, but Fireman Sam is going to take Venus to the mechanic, just to be sure. So then guys, thanks for dropping in and be sure to subscribe to our channel before you leave and give us a thumbs up if you like our video. We really would appreciate it if you share with your friends on Facebook or on Twitter and there's a link for you to press below and it's really easy. We really would appreciate it. So. Take care and bye for now. Naughty Norman was feeling particularly mischievous today. It's a Saturday and he was out and about in his go-kart. Dillis Price was just about to shut her shop and said to Norman, you can go out for an hour and then I want you back for your tea. Oh mum, I'll be back, don't worry. And with that, he raced off. I don't know, said Dillis to herself, that Norman will be the death of me. Norman felt that it was getting a little colder and then he noticed it was starting to snow. Oh, cool, he thought, but he didn't realise how dangerous it was going to be. The snow was starting to lay. And then it turned out to be a bit of a whiteout. Naughty Norman was in trouble. He got out of his little go-kart and he just didn't know what to do. But he thought to himself, I know, I'll climb up this snowy ridge. And he did. It turned out to be a cavern full of snow and naughty Norman slipped. And he fell right into the centre. Tom Thomas was out and about in Wallaby Hill and he had seen just what happened to Norman so he ran through the emergency to the emergency control centre at the fire station in Ponty Pandy.
Byam and Sam and Elvis Cridlington arrived in Jupiter and they could see poor naughty Norman Price in the distance. Poor Norman, he really needs our help, said Byam and Sam. I know, I've got a top idea. Byam and Sam popped into the emergency rescue basket and Elvis Cridlington pushed him across the ice towards Naughty Norman. Naughty Norman was freezing. Fireman Sam reassured Naughty Norman, don't worry Norman, we'll have you out of here in no time. Poor Norman was shivering and he was turning blue. Norman managed to pull himself up onto the ridge Fireman Sam grabbed hold of him quickly and rescued him into the emergency basket. Naughty Norman was safely in the basket with Fireman Sam, but the drama wasn't over. Elvis Gridlington needed to hook up the fire rescue vehicle to the basket and winch them off the ice. This new fire rescue vehicle is a top new addition to all of the fire rescue vehicles that they have in Pontypandy and Elvis Cridlington hooked up the basket with the winch. He was able to drag them both to safety. That was a top job Elvis, but we need to get this young lad home to where it's nice and warm and dry. So they hopped into Jupiter back to Ponty Pandy. So if you like Fireman Sam and if you like toys be sure to subscribe to the MG Tracy channel. Also four boxes will appear. Be sure to press on one of those boxes to continue the toy fun. It's a beautifully hot sunny Sunday afternoon in Ponty Pandy and the folk of Ponty Pandy are waiting at the tram stop. They're waiting for Trevor Evans. They plan to have a trip around the village and to end up at the beach. They are all prepared for their trip. They've bought their swimming costumes. Dennis Price has packed some sandwiches. Helen Flood has got some sausage rolls. And Radar is so excited to be going into the sea and he might catch a stick or two. They had only been waiting a few minutes and naughty Norman Price was already bored. Oh ma'am, where's the tram? Where's Trevor Evans? Norman, behave yourself. He won't be long, said Dillis Price. But Norman wanted to have a run around. So he started to chase the purple minion. But luckily Trevor Evans turned up in the tram in the nick of time before Naughty Norman and the purple minion could get into too much trouble. It's a beautiful city liner tram and Trevor Evans is very proud of it and spent all day long yesterday cleaning and polishing it. How do folks, says Trevor Evans. Right, all aboard my lovely tram and off we go. So first on board were the Flood family. That's Mike Flood, Helen Flood and their little girl Mandy. They couldn't wait to spend a lovely day together in the sunshine. And next it's Dillis Price's turn to get onto the tram. She's bought a long radar. She can't wait to spend the time by the sea and also with Trevor Evans. She's a little bit sweet on Trevor Evans so she's going to have a lovely day. And lastly, Naughty Norman Price and the Purple Minion need to get on. But where are they? They've opened the doors behind Trevor Evans and are going to sneak in there. Oh, they are being mischievous. Well, everybody's on board, so it's time to head off. Trevor Evans was just making sure that his passengers were comfortable. Ah, oh, righty-ho, let's be on our way. Trevor shut the tram door and off he went. 
here comes the Road Ripper's dumper truck. It was swerving all over the place. The back of the truck was full of M&Ms. Tipper truck has lost its load of M&Ms and they're all over the tram track and the road. But goodness me, the front of the vehicle is smoking. And the flames spread to the tram. Trevor Evans leapt out of the tram and made sure all of his passengers were standing at a safe distance away. The purple minion was feeling a little scared but Nurse Blood comforted him and made sure that he was all okay. Goodness me, said Trevor Evans. The flames are spreading. I need to get help quick. I need to ring Fireman Sam. Sam now in Jupiter and his four Elvis Cridlington and Penny Morris to help with the emergency. Elvis Cridlington's in charge of crowd control. He's making sure that everybody keeps well back and at a safe distance, especially that naughty Norman Price. Great fires of London, says Fireman Sam. This fire is beginning to take hold. We need to act quickly, Penny. You go on the super soaker and I'll get the super soaking hose. Penny stayed cool and calm and she was soon able to put out the flames on the tram. Well done, Penny. And working together, Penny Morris and Fireman Sam soon put out the flames on the truck. Last surge of water then, Penny, and it'll soon be out. I'm on it, says Penny Morris. And with that, the flames were out. And with that, the crowd let out a huge roar. And Trevor Evans couldn't thank the firefighters at Ponty Pandy enough. It's all in old day's work, says Fireman Sam. I know, says Trevor Evans, but you were just amazing. Oh, thank you so much. So then, guys, if you like toys and if you like Fine and Sam, be sure to touch one of the boxes that will appear shortly to continue the toy fun. <laughs>